guys what's up and welcome to this new lesson by me and krishna nair and in this lesson we'll basically see really really old questions that were asked in the aims examinations since the early 90s 1994 1995 all right so we'll see questions that range from uh, deviation due to thin prism and we'll see questions uh, that involve the addition of power of lenses and finding the equivalent focal length and we'll also see one very good question based on why we cannot see in a foggy atmosphere foggy climate so without any further delay let's begin all right and before we begin let me just briefly introduce myself as always uh, so my name is ranjit krishna like i previously told and i did my btech in electrical engineering from iit madras and uh, i also cleared the j advanced exam as well as the j main exam then known as iit j and air triple exam with the all india rank of 321 and 355 in the year 2010 and i currently teach physics for uh, competitive exams like j e neat kvpy olympiads etc a resonance quota and if you would like to follow me and my courses then you can follow me on the link www.anacademy.com/user/at-the-rate-rkn all right so let's start off with this simple question that was asked in the aims examination all the way back in the 1994 exam so here and one more thing uh, i am i have actually already discussed the latest questions that have been asked in the aims examination so now let's see really really old questions the reason is that sometimes examiners what they do is they pick up really old questions and then they reuse it again because uh, they are so old that uh, they think that nobody might notice it or something like that so they tend to pick up really really old questions uh, because obviously they can't uh, you know ask recently used questions so anyways let's get on with this question the question goes as follows the angle of prism is 6 degree and its refractive index for the green light is 1.5 if a green ray passes through it the deviation will be 3 degree 30 degree 0 degree 15 degree it was asked in aims 1994 as usual pause the video attempt the question and then we'll discuss the solution all right so here it's a very very simple question uh, remember these questions from aims are very simple so they may not be asked in aims but they are very very likely or you know similar questions are very very likely in the neat examination of today so the only concept that you need to know in order to solve this question is deviation from a thin prism a deviation from a thin prism so suppose a light ray is going like this and it deviates by angle theta like this now theta can for small angle of this prism a theta can be simply written as n minus 1 into a where n is the refractive index or n relative which is 1.5 and a is the angle of the prism which is 6 degree on substituting this value we get deviation is equal to 1.5 minus 1 into 6 degree so we basically get deviation is equal to 3 degree which gives option a as the correct answer all right now let's move on to a question that requires you know power of lenses so this was also asked in aims 1994 so uh, the question goes as follows two lenses of power plus 12 diopters and minus 2 diopters are combined together what is their equivalent focal length okay the options are 16.6 cm 10 cm 8.33 cm and 12.5 cm now as usual you have to pause the video you attempt the question and after that we'll discuss the solution all right so i hope that you have attempted the question and here it's a question based on two concept the previous one was based on a single concept here you need to know two very similar concepts but although little different okay first you need to know the power of combination of lenses that if two lenses are combined and you know their individual powers then how does the resultant power uh you know uh, you how to calculate the resultant power and the second concept that you need to know is not only you need to know how to calculate the resultant power but you also need to know the relation between power and focal length that is what is the relationship between power and focal length and how is power related to focal length and focal length related to power okay so now these two points can be expressed mathematically as these two equation that is the net power of combination of lenses is simply addition of individual powers that is p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus all the way till pn what this means is if you have n lenses and each lens has power p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 all the way till pn 
right so the resultant power is simply addition of the individual powers remember here p1 and p2 can be either positive or negative sign does not matter uh, you just substitute the powers with sign and more important thing is that the power is simply reciprocal of the focal length that's it and if you want equivalent focal length then find the net power and uh, f equivalent will be reciprocal of the power uh, p net so when you cross multiply you get uh, cross multiply you get uh, f equivalent is equal to 1 upon p net and remember this has to be an si unit that is you need to substitute the focal length in meters to get the power in diopters and if you substitute power in diopters you get the focal length in meters now here the two individual powers when added up uh, p1 plus p2 gives uh, total power net of 10 diopters so uh, you know f equivalent equal to 1 by p net and that will be equal to 1 by 10 equal to 0.1 meters which comes out to be around 10 centimeters so option b would be the correct answer now let's see this question which was also asked in 1994 question but it's different from the previous questions because it's not a formula based question that is you don't need to know any formula to answer this question you need to know your concepts of theory the theoretical concepts really well in order to answer this question let's see what this question is now one cannot see through fog now what is fog hindi mein usko kohra bolte hain kohra so during winters what happen is in the morning right in the morning you see that a whitish layer has descended near the surface of the earth and because of that visibility uh, gets damaged really badly and you cannot see through that cloudy layer right that cloudy whitish layer is actually called the fog okay so fog is called kohra in hindi so why does that happen uh, they asked uh, they are asking that why cannot we see through the fog because the options are refractive index of the fog is infinity fog absorbs the light light is scattered by the droplets light suffers total reflection at the drop uh, at the droplets okay so it's a theoretical question as usual pause the video attempt the question and then we'll discuss the solution all right so i hope that you have solved the question now uh, just like one cannot see now let me give you a hint first that think about clouds okay fog is nothing but clouds for example when we see clouds from the earth's surface what we see is an opaque structure right we see an opaque structure through which we cannot see anything but what happens is when you are going through a plane and when you are passing through a cloud it's not that you cannot see anything beyond a cloud it's just that it looks exactly like fog in fact that when fog happens right when you have a foggy situation it is equivalent to clouds coming down to your level okay so one cannot see through clouds because one cannot see uh, this is the same reason why one cannot see through fog because fog is just like clouds it is made of tiny water droplets both have the same composition physical composition now tiny water droplets what they do is they scatter the visible light so if suppose this water droplet is here here the ray is coming it scatters the incoming ray so it won't be able to reach your eyes properly hence you won't be able to see it properly so it scatters the visible light and that is the reason so one cannot see through fog because light is scattered by the droplets option c would be the correct answer now let's last see a very simple question from a 1995 if two lenses of power 1.5 diopters and 1.0 diopters are placed in contact then the effective power of combination will be extremely extremely simple questions i hope you can do it orally as usual pause the video attempt the question and then we'll discuss the solution all right so i hope that you have attempted the question it's a really really simple question we have known this formula which formula you have to use it's simply combination of lenses that the only one concept that you need to know in order to answer this question simply write down the formula that is the net power is addition of individual power now you add up the individual power the net power is simply uh, equal to 2.5 diopters 2.5 diopters is option p so that is your correct answer so that's pretty much it from my side in this lesson i hope you really like this lesson if you did then please help me out with the rating review and recommending that is please rate review and recommend my lesson and you can follow me by clicking this button and if you want to enroll in this particular course for more videos of neat aims and AI, triple e and J main examination you can enroll in this course and if you like this video then please upload this button uh, you know click this button for recommending it to other people
available and if you have any queries doubt or feedback uh, you know please go to the comment section and let me know i'll respond to you as soon as possible and you uh, please share this video to as many people as possible so that those who cannot afford quality coaching are not left behind and last but not the least please rate the course five star so that uh, i get really motivated to make more and more awesome courses for you guys that's it from my side see you in the next lesson bye bye